Welcome! Well, sorry, Morning Glory, Matt Royal 64 here, and welcome to Let's Play Lunar. No, not Lunar. Children of Mana. Last time we went through the Mana Tower after doing Tess's first side quest, and we got the Hero's Medallion, which actually more powerful than most of the rings we can get for right now. Uh, I don't think this quest is open yet, is it? Yes, not. Oh, what else? I want to talk to Moti. I've been waiting for you, Eric. I hope you're ready to leave for Topple. I am, but how am I supposed to get there? If you're playing as a wanderer, I think he'll, he'll say, I'll go get a boat. Then he gets coughed by Moti. Giving him this. Take this. What is it? A spin drum. The spirits have entrusted it for me to me in times of like these. I'm sorry, I thought I heard some coughing then, but nobody's here. I'm home alone right now. Weird. It is said that you can use it to call the guardian spirit Flammy. Flammy? Flammy is actually a porn character in the Mana series. She's been in every single game for as far as far as I can remember. Um, so I talk about should I talk about 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 the Mana Sword. You can never use the Mana Sword in almost every single game where you can acquire the Mana Sword. You can sort of Mana. You can never, never, ever use it. There's only one game you get to use it, and that's in Secret of Mana. But, it's actually a completely different weapon, even though technically it is the Mana Sword. You've been cho but chosen by the Holy Sword, I'm sure your call will be answered. And that game is actually weakened, but you do get it into its former glory in time for the final battle. Only for a limited time, which sucks really. But anyway, go on, try spinning the drum. Act on the balcony. Oh, okay. The spin drum is also important, that's it brings up Flammy. There's also another Guardian in the series that was introduced in um, Seeking Densetsu 3 called Kuskabu, I think it, that's how you pronounce it, which is a turtle that looks like it's got goggles on. Got on. Kuskabu is that Buskabu, I think it's called. I Buskabu is, isn't really important and it becomes redundant in that game as soon as you get flammy although a, a fleet is used to summon him and you can only summon him in the shores but anyway let's go to star lake like we're supposed to it's the only place we can go other than Lu lucia right now and you know well, um, Lucio, we can never walk on the wall map. So, I expect I like, because it, I like how, when you're walking on the map, before you get flammy, the view actually zooms in. But anyway, we got two weapons out, the flail. It's more powerful than the sword, but personally, I'm probably going to focus more attacking on with the sword. But I will attack these crabs of this flail. And it can also, we can also whip it to grab certain items from far away. Which is going to be, to be imperative. Ow! I was on the floor then, you little bastards. That said, I will commentate when we're going to dungeons as part of the story. But, I will show off characters, virtual side quests, but I will just speed them up and play music until we get to and until we get to a cutscene. That said, I will say this game is fantastic and quite underrated, but sadly it does get really repetitive. Which is a shame really, because it is, like I said, a fantastic game. Ew. We have gumdrops set on Y. If we press L, we can actually choose which item we want to 
have set to Y. I forgot to mention that last time. Also, we can press R and we can choose which weapons we want, which is kind of pointless, but you can you swap the flail and the sword around if you want. I don't think you can access this before you can before you get the flail. In fact, if you're holding if you select press L and R and go into the item or weapon ring menu, you can actually press the other button and switch to that other ring menu on the fly. Which is cool. If you want to equip more you equip more than one thing at a time. Ow. Whoop. I think we need to flex something at these guys. No we're not. Right. We'll do with that boat. Bugger by doing that. I'll teach him. Oh no, crap. We are blinded. There are a few six effects I will talk about them when we get inflicted with them. That was darkness, where everything becomes dark around you. Aside from only a little tiny bit of light. And also, your map becomes useless as nothing gets. as enemies do not get pointed out on it. No thanks. That level up just dropped me in the red. Because 43 on. Ow. Don't, that was then. But don't worry, when when you go into a gleam up drop when you go up to the next another floor, you do get some of your HP healed. Whoa. Okay, where do you guys come from? No remember seeing you guys. Huh. So please bear with me, the beeping is going to get annoying, I will agree. Oh I see, they're coming from there. Which we can't really get over unless we like to run around and get off foot impaled half of the times. Pins and needles, her <laughs> her. That joke kind of sucks. Then we're in the gleam well and we're up on going up to the second zone. And as you can see, we did get some more health back. It's always good to remember that when you go in the next floor, you do recover a small bit of your health. And we have a new enemy here. I That's the thing with these enemies. I remember some of their names, but not all of them are their, their names. Like, this is a tomball. The game never really tells you their names, you have to remember them from other sources, like Super Mana. Like this is a Mad Mallard, I think it's called. I like to call it Duck Battalion. After that, enemy in Gunstar Heroes. Duck Battalion. I don't know the name actually, it's pretty awesome. Which I love to help you that game actually, someday. Because I hear it's because it's just awesome. Not really the same one you're in, in all honesty, though. It's barely two players. I don't really have a second player, though. So. Oh. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah. Those imps do shoot off some. Jexiles that you can reflect. The, bat, the sonic waves are the only projectile we can never reflect, I suppose. Oh, and the defensive mechanic will also reduce less damage, reduce the damage you take from an attack, by the way, when you're defending with the sword. Sword's the only weapon that gives you, gives you a defensive maneuver. We got Fury World, so we may as well use it. Full HP. That was actually pretty lucky. Let's try short. Nothing really special happens if you press the player button, but if you hold it, you can do this. More powerful and with more range. Very helpful. Although the sword's probably the best one. Anything. I don't see anything but the Fury skills. 
when you hold the attack button to use a weapon's fury skill while in fury. It takes off what you were using before that. So if you want to like get an item towards you, or if you want to actually defend something against something, god damn it. Um I'll see you back. Right, I'm back up onto zone two. I must admit I was really embarrassing doing like that. That's probably my first step in the entire RP. It's very unusual for me to die there. Oh, and something I should mention that some of those pink flowers will drop po cause poison gas to come out, which will poison you, by the way. Poison the creep. You gain. Uh, I don't think. Oh well. Suicide. I'm not sure if I got that looper. I should have. That was a poor decision on my part. Way. You can actually get things to come out of these purple plants. Or purple bushes. Well, some of them. And off screen, I gained a level. And I actually sold some of the excess stuff I had. And I actually equipped a piece, set of lam lamella armor that I had. From a previous run, from pre I got in a previous video, and I equipped it. Some level seven. Well, I was level seven. Seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ! This game is kicking my ass all of a sudden. But then again, I suppose I'm a little underleveled. I'm not even sure how long the last video was. Then again, according to Camp Studio, I accidentally stopped the recording. I must admit, that was my fault here. And so, I'm pausing it. So, according to Cam, no, Hypercamp, I've got the last recording was 6,000 frames. Around six times frames, which doesn't seem a lot. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's the thing about this game, you do bounce around after being hit with a hard attack. Although that was extremely weird, I must admit. The way that was. Oh, ow. Oh, and you get damaged by being flung into walls, by the way. That can be very annoying. Ow. Stop that. Just stop abusing me. Stop it. Ow! And this is gonna be. Oh no, it's not an enemy. Thank god. Ah! <sighs> My god, I've been using a lot more gun jobs than I would have personally wanted to. The only thing is, gun jobs don't really heal a lot, and they do become redundant very fast. Because they just don't heal enough. But luckily, we're going to soon. There is a gem combination that changes that. So we I will be sure to make it. Ah, oh, damn you. I so wanted you to fly into that and break it. Come on. Come out, bros. Do it. Thank you. Die. You have outlived your usefulness. I'm such a tyrant, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> Here. Oh, and here, you can get a lot of gun drops here. So, just bomb for them. There's some more enemies, and I think I might kill them. Just to gain more experience. Just because the boss's area, it can be a asshole. That said, I don't think it has much to do with levels actually, the how bad the boss is. Just that you can get trapped in the middle and you'll get beaten around and you'll most likely die. 
actually while I'm here I might as well re-equip my gun drops because I want to keep those chocolate chomps. The, the chocolate chomps heal more than gun drops and you probably would probably may have saw that. Right. These guys would probably shoot at me. Oh, this guy's edging. Oh, he's just shot at me anyway. Yeah, he is. Whoa, hello. Oh. Come over here, ducky. Impale yourself. Come. Come and meet your fate. Boring sod. Right, another gun, gun drop in there. I had a feeling that one of them was going to be a mimic, but I guess I'm wrong. Now let's go and get that gleam drop. Now I'm pretty much done with everything I wanted to get done. Oh, hang on. We haven't done this. You haven't got that. That's a pretty good shortcut there. Oh, come on, you can really get over there. Yes. Get in. Damn ducks. I was gonna make sh gosh duck reference them, but uh, I'm not sure if everyone's watching. Damn it, it would have been so funny and all. Oh well. Pretty much more the same here. Nothing really new up here that I know of. Just keep pounding into things. I think the recommended le level for playing this. Oh, never mind. This is these these lizards. I think they're called packing lizards. I think that's according to Seeking Dead in Century Three. That's that the enemies aren't really as memorable as Dragon Quest enemies. So, oh well. Ow. Right, this could be a problem. So, no, help me. Do something. Hurry. That is why I chose Gnome, so I can kill things very quickly. I did say that no. I'm pretty sure I did mention that Gnome is probably one of the most powerful spirits you can have. His portability isn't that great. Oh, oh, you can reflect that. I forgot about that actually. Treasure. Have we got a shame mail on them? So we can equip that sometime. Uh, I'm a bit nervous, so about what's good. Ending up, so I'll use a chocolate. I'll just call it chocolate because it's much easier to say. And it's clearly chocolate. Oh, whoa, hello. And you missed. I'm not going to get that if you stand right there. Thanks to getting levels, my attacks are a little stronger now. But that said, I think there's a natural attack stat that the game never really tells you about. That's just me personally talking. Oh, this is a mimic. A mimics, mimics. Uh, what did I say that twice? Mimics hiding chests. Well, they are chests to be fair. And if you, and they are invincible to every weapon except one. If you want the item, you probably would have gotten anyway. You have to guess which weapon the Mimic is weak to. Nothing. But oh well, we still get Fury, so play through everything. Oh. That's something the lizards can do. Eat you. 
Oh, I forgot. I'm inferior, but I got. That thing. <laughs> oh, 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 my god. That wouldn't end well. I thought I was gonna die again. Jesus Christ. Oh, bloody hell. You assholes. <laughs> Can I open my eyes now? Whoa. I actually didn't notice that. I was getting stuck on it. Come on. I dare you. Shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. Or just head closer. That's completely fine by me. Crap, can't reach him. Oh, so you are smart, or, or should I say a fool? Here. Right, there's actually an easy way to do this. Just do this. Because we are. Uh, hello. Oh. Just my plain luck. Right, this is a little unnerving. I must admit, I've ne never really had this much trouble in this game, I must admit. Although that said, early game is a little scary at first, but as the game goes on, it gets easier. Despite the fact that it should get harder. Although I will say there's one or two thoughts that always make me want to tear my hair out. Right? Damn losers. Hate them. Hate them. Right, level 10, that should be a decent level for the boss. I'm not sure where. The Gleam Well is somewhere to the east. That's not enough to reach it, of course. Well, my thing of duh. No. 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 Right. Sorry, I'm having a derp moment right now. Uh, over here. Should've known. Should've known. That's a gleam job. Great. I'm not sure if I'll fight some more monsters or just book it. Defense. Oh, no, this is just walking straight to it. He should have died. Why did you survive? Bastard. Right, I don't really want to defend near a pack of lizards, because they do eat you. As you already should have sworn. Well, I think you probably would have sworn saw it. So on, what the? Ah, uh, my vocabulary helps if you can speak, of course. Me speak English. That's it. Defending will not save you from a lizard eating you. And don't forget, in this game. Being spat launched can be really devastating, I'm going to be honest. I've had a, quite a few deaths where I've been hit by a really heavy attack and died to being slammed, bouncing off about two walls like a ping pong ball. Oh.
being being launched to help a seat can, like I said, can be very devastating. So be careful about that. It can also be devastating for enemies too, although it doesn't really se seem to affect them as much as it affects you. It's mostly because enemies do tend to have a lot more HP than you can, I suppose. Like here, we can bounce things, bounce things around, and cause death and destruction. And this is a new enemy, that thing, that slug. We can't really do much to it. That thing is like a rock. It's a wall. It's one hell of a beefcake. And he's dead. Right, we can even drag him to towards us and start slashing him up. Or we can trick get him to shoot at, shoot us. Oh, what? I grabbed him. Ow, you stabbed me. Right. The rest of that went surprisingly well. I did die once. Anyway, let's check if there's anything we can equip right now. Right, let's see. We have our Iron Sword. We have one more level until bronze. Until we can equip the Broadsword. So, we'll equip the Iron Sword. Banded Armor. I think at this level we can actually get a new Flail. I believe. But I'm not sure. One more level before we can get that on. Nothing else. I'll stop the video just to see how long it is. I might consider doing this in another video. I'm not sure yet. So I'll be back in a moment. It was a long video, but it's not that bad. This is not really going to take long either, I'm sure. Although I might want to save first because things might go on. Well, if things go wrong, it will go wrong. Because this boss is a pain in the ass, I'm going to be honest. It's not really that hard, it's just that... Well, I'll explain it a bit. This has to be the place, it's just like the Mana Tower. But what could this pulsating power be? Oh, what's this? Oh, crap, it's another Malvadon. Malvadon or whatever. Another mastral monstrosity is protected by that same strange force. At the tower, the holy sword of light strip those defenses for me. I wonder if he'll do it again. Right then, let's go. Worth a shot. Sword, lend me your power. Great, it worked again. Alright, oh, I knew it would help me out. Here I go. Right. We have Gollum. Oh fuck, I should have... Oh, well, no, never mind. That's completely fine. I was going to record just top screen, but oh well. Galen can be a rather difficult boss. Or not. It really depends. I think you get experience for his, uh, killing his eyes. If you see him flashing like that, and see seeds popping around everywhere, m m run now. And he's getting close to. S oh yes, I was uh, hoping you would do that. Get close to no. I think he's about to. No. There we go. Seeds of released. And Gnome just activated at really the wrong time. Oh, now he actually releases from. Sends his. Mooks out. However, this is something you will want to do. Be careful when you get close to him when he's doing this. Oh, he's just exploded. 
you to hear this, oh well. I was gonna explain. When he's released, sometimes he'll release his... Like... Those vine creatures satelliting around him. He'll, like, as you saw then, he'll release them from his command and they'll attack you anyway. To release one from your command, I really should explain that, you should you have to hit it with your whip it towards you. However, if you don't cause enough damage in time, be make sure you stay away from him or just use your spirit to take to attack him when he's released all his satellites. Because if you do not, he'll regain them. And if you're in the middle if you're right up to his face when he does that, you are going to be smacked around and you will definitely die. Or in the words of HC Baby, it will kill you. Bad impression, but. I think the phone's ringing. Why the hell does No Cash GBA have to be so bloody loud? I miss that because of that. Right. We have a saber. A ring of radiance and a chain flail. You know, I've all we can go for random. Uh, we haven't had a magic wall in it yet. I personally, I prefer a free chain flail, wouldn't be bad. We haven't got a flail yet, but we can buy one. And um, we'll turn this one, turn this Mal Malavadon to a Benavadon. I think that's how you pronounce it. Or is it Marvelon? As in mil Marvelant or whatever. So a word for violent and for Benavon Benavidon. I mean it's supposed to be kinda of like a pun on benevolent. Benevolent benevolent. Whatever however you pronounce it. Huh? Who's this? His name is Triant. My what a fine napper that was. Ho oh, oh. ho. Who are you? I'm Triant. Patri Patriarch of the trees. How are you pronounce that? I've never encountered that word before. Triant? So you're the ancient tree spirit that once lived on Illusia? Hmm, I suppose it's been ten years. How the time flies. Now listen. This force that has been walking in time and space is not the cursed power of Malovia. What? It's the power of Mana. What? Mana? What do you mean? Why would Mana do this? I don't know why. The surgeon out of control. Mana surgeon. Could that be something to do with that? Mysterious man? Yes, that's what woke me from my slumber. If it continues, however, Mana may destroy the world. Hold on, destroy the world? Hurry now, child of Lucia. You must find a way to quell the mana columns that are sprouting up across the world. Quell the mana columns? Take this, it should open the way. To get Triant's branch. Triant. Branch of Triant, which will allow us access to the next dungeon. Mana is searching out of control. She answered that. Yeah, but he doesn't. But he said he doesn't know why. He also said that he would destroy the world if left alone. How can that be? So Mana is out of control. All right, I'll contact Watson and discuss the next course of action. Okay, I'll look into it further too. Bye for now. One moment. You must be accustomed to fight. Fighting with two weapons by now. I have a new weapon for you. Oh yes. Please say this. Oh, it's the bow. The bow I never, never, never use. Well, you're forced to use it in the next dungeon. But I hardly ever use the bow. I really don't like it. It is pretty weak. However, it is ranged, so that is good. And it's a, it does have an ability that can confuse enemies or make them, well, go eight shit. And stop them from attacking. With the bow, you can attack enemies from afar, combining with the sword or flail to handle a variety of situations. You can also charm monsters nearby by plucking the bowstring. 
That's a charge I moved the bowstring clocking. Do you like to uh, practice using the bow? No, don't really want to. No, maybe later. Very well. Whenever you need practice with your weapons, just let me know. Okay, thanks. Right then, and we actually have an odd objective here. Next step, find out more about recent incidents from the locals. When you only get that like twice in the game. It's only in between dungeons. It's pretty much a filler part. All you have to do is complete a mission either from a villager or the bear. And away you go. You'll unlock the next dungeon. You have to talk to someone. I'll go with that next time. So then. There's been Mark of 6 4. And there's been. Well, next time on Let's Play Children of Mana, we are going to. Well, do crap. Do some more side quests. And hopefully, find out what's our next step. See you next time. Right, I was going to stop the video, but I actually completely forgot about, that, about this. I completely forgot about this. I was looking all over for you. Me? I've just got my hands on a really good or good or I can expand your gem frame with this thing. Expand, expand the gem frame? Yeah. You'll be able to use more gems with an expanded gem frame. Nice! No, this means you'll be able to powerful power yourself up even more. Really? I mean, gem frame. I completely forgot about this, I must admit. I was just heading off, off screen to do some shopping. Sell excess items. There you go. And now our gem frame has been expanded. Which is really handy. We'll unlock another one there, but I can't remember when that is. Um, another one later in the game. So then, this has been Matt 64 and this video is finished for real. And stop pushing me. See you next time.